guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make fresh ricotta cheese. It is so much better than anything you've purchased at the grocery store and you will not be disappointed. It just requires fresh whole milk, a little bit of citric acid, some sea salt, and just your time and attention. It doesn't take long, I promise you. So let's get started. All right, I have a quarter cup of water here and a heaping half teaspoon of citric acid. And I'm going to dissolve this into the water. Give it a few stirs and let it sit for just a minute. You can also use lemon juice or a distilled vinegar, but I had this on hand, so I'm gonna use this. Their sole purpose is to curdle your milk. Okay, so what I'm using is whole fat milk. It's also incredibly important to use a local milk that is not ultra pasteurized. I've done this through trial and error, and if you use ultra pasteurized, it will not curdle. It's just the science of it. So here we go with a half gallon of whole fat milk. And because I like things rich and creamy, I'm also going to add a little bit of cream because decadence is all right. I would say that was about a half cup. All right, so now I'm gonna add our um, dissolved citric acid in water into the milk. And I'm also going to add um, another heaping half teaspoon of sea salt. And just stir it all together to combine it. And I'm gonna turn the heat on. What we wanna do is bring it up to a slow boil. Not even a boil, more just kind of like a few ripples on top of the surface. I'm also going to use a thermometer because we want it to get it up to 185. And I'm gonna put it at medium high just because it is cold, give it time to heat up, and then I'll just keep a very close eye on it. Okay, I've rinsed my cheesecloth off with a little bit of warm water. I think it kind of helps reduce any fuzzies that might be on there. Um, it's just a good, a good idea to do. And I'm going to line my colander. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stir here. I'm just checking to make sure it's not scorching the bottom of the pan. And I'm also gonna do another temperature check to see where we are. Last time I looked, it was like 80. Okay, so we're still a few degrees off from where we want to be, but what I'm seeing happening here is the formation of our curds. It almost looks like cottage cheese, little fluffy clouds. It just has like a fun texture, and it's kind of fun to watch it happen. Okay, we've hit 185. I'm gonna turn the heat off now, put a lid on, and we're gonna just forget about it for 10 minutes and we'll come back and we'll drain it into our cheesecloth. So I'll see you in a second. All right, our timer went off, so we are ready to drain our whey so that our curds remain. It looks so pretty. It is, wow, it's gorgeous. The whey has kind of a yellowish tinge, but then the curds themselves are white and fluffy. It's heavy, be careful, don't burn yourself, take your time. We are gonna let this drain for about 15 minutes. You can go a little less time if you like a wetter consistency, or you can even go well beyond the 15 minutes if you uh, want like a dry consistency. I like it creamier, so I'll probably go between 10 and 15 minutes. And you can stir it every once in a while just to help the liquid drain through. Okay, I'm gonna spoon this into my bowl, and I'm using a slotted spoon in case there is any residual whey that might still come out. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So here we have this amazing ricotta and I'm really excited to try it. Oh yeah, it is so good. You could add more salt if you like, but I think it's perfect. So one great way to serve this is just to put it on a fresh baguette, drizzle it with a little bit of honey. It's so easy to make and I hope you don't feel intimidated to do so. Um, it's an unexpected thing to bring to someone's home. Bring a baguette with you, maybe some tomatoes, a little honey, and surprise people with something that's homemade, fresh, and really good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'd love to hear your feedback on how you use ricotta. So thanks so much and enjoy. Okay, so yes, probably about 
a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half maybe of the freshly grated ginger. Again, I'm just gonna toss that together. 